All right, I am here on the famous Winkleman Bridge. I grew up with fists and my word, and that's all. That's how I was raised. <laughs> Winkleman is a small Arizona town geographically located in both Gila and Pinal counties, although 100% of their population resides in Gila County. Most people assume Winkleman was formed because of the copper located in the surrounding hills, but it was actually founded by farmers. In 1878, a large number of farmers migrated to this area because of the Gila and San Pedro rivers. Originally incorporated in 1914, Winkleman is the smallest incorporated town in Arizona. It is located 95 miles southeast of Phoenix, 65 miles north of Tucson, and 36 miles south of Globe. In 2022, the population is estimated to be 284 people. That's an average decrease of 2.07% annually since 2010. Six people leave Winkleman every year. The poverty rate in Winkleman is just shy of 30%. There's no question this Arizona small town is struggling and shrinking quickly. One of the reasons leading to the high poverty rate is education or the lack thereof. Just 34% of the eligible population has graduated from high school. Only 5% have gone on to complete a bachelor degree. This has led to an unemployment rate of a whopping 20.4%. The principal employer within the town is Hayden Winkleman School District. With a total enrollment of just 90 students in grades 9 through 12, there's not a high need for teachers. In fact, the teacher-student ratio is 12 students to one teacher. Regardless of how you drive to Winkleman, the views are spectacular. Mountains, saguaro cactus, mines, and canyons are just some of the things you're going to see along the way. All right, I am here on the famous Winkleman Bridge. I am so excited to be here. This is a historical bridge. It is about 106 years old. In fact, in 2016, they celebrated the 100th anniversary of this bridge. What makes this bridge so special? The Winkleman Bridge is a historic bridge over the Gila River. It was built in 1916 by the Topeka Bridge and Iron Company out of Topeka, Kansas, and has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since September 30th, 1988. It's 419 feet long and just shy of 18 feet wide. It was originally built for vehicles, but is now used for pedestrians only. In August 1915, a man by the name of R.V. Leeson, an assistant engineer for the National Bridge Company at the time, completed the drawings using the patented and distinctive Luton Horseshoe Arch Profile. It's one of just two of these bridges left in Arizona. I wanted to get the history of Winkleman and the Winkleman Bridge from a local and I was lucky enough to meet Jesse, a 65-year resident. I was shocked to find out that the town and the bridge have a bit of a dark history. Well, this bridge was made because, in the first bridge was made because of Sarco, the mining company, found silver and found gold and copper, and they needed a way to get to Tucson to transfer in the 1900s, the early 1900s, to transfer the gold, the silver, the copper to the refineries in Tucson and to the train and beyond. Okay. And they couldn't go because at this time, the river would go up to the bank, up below us a few feet. Arizona became a state in the 14, 1914. They made a bridge in Globe and Roosevelt, and that's cut down the water from 80% to about right what right now is. Okay, here in the Gila River, right? In the Gila River, the bridge was cut, and then they go, well, okay, we can put a bridge now. We don't have to worry about the traffic and the stagecoach and the uh, trains being bogged down in the mud. Now, do you use the bridge often? Every day. I work outside EPA, a, a monitoring station right outside town. Well, thanks, Jess. I appreciate your time. Oh, no problem. All right.
After I stopped recording, Jesse shared some things about the bridge that aren't mentioned anywhere online. I'll get to that soon. But after talking offline, he began to open up and asked if I would record some more. This is where his recollection of Winkleman and the famous bridge got fascinating. Over here, in this dance hall, we have Saturday cockfights, what they would call. They would find, hey, hey, you, you messed with my old lady. Really? Really? Let's go to the back. And you would go fix your wounds by sitting on that wooden over there, where the wood is over there, you would sit and you survived getting your ass kicked. Everybody would watch you make bets from that, from beside that side, make bets who got their ass kicked through again. The nugget over there, which is a lot along up the street to the left, the nugget was the worst. Okay. I got my introduction there. So Jess, did you ever get your butt kicked? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Until I learned how to cheat. Okay. <laughs> This is a mining town. Mining towns are very simple. You mess with my lord, I kick your ass. You mess with my family, I kick your ass. Vendettas live forever. There's families here who hate each other. There's some who work with each other, but they get drunk and all. They kick their ass, each other's ass, just for shit to go. This is our wild west. It is. People, people say it's not. We're civilized. No, we're not civilized. Yeah. You know, over here, we still have a mentality of, you think you're bad? From 60, 70, or 80, or 40, or 30? It doesn't matter. An old man's gonna teach a little kid his manners. This is what we have. All we have is respect. All, the, all And people here are gonna go around with guns, or go around with knives. No, I was old school. I grew up with fists, my word, and that's all. That's how I was raised. You want to go for a strange hookup? Right up over there. Right up where the wood is. You're talking about like ladies in the night. No, ladies, regular ladies who are with somebody else. Ladies who are and mad at their husbands or mad at their boyfriends or mad at whatever. So you're not talking prostitutes. You're just no, talking. I'm talking ladies, ladies, young ladies. Okay. They're going over there Saturday night, Friday night. You have your pick. Oh, Does that still go on? It still goes on. Oh my goodness. So this bridge, like you said, has a lot of history. Oh yes. It's a, they put those uh, blocks on yeah. because a man drove a car. He got mad at the group that was messing with the family, fighting with the family, and drove his truck. And everybody jumped over the sides to keep from getting run over. Excuse me, but we would have rather have sex than have good, a good fight or sex. A good fight's always better. Sex is okay. You know, I'm not saying sex is not, but a good fight, you feel a good crunch in the face. You get a good crunch in the ribs. You get a good crunch in the eyes. You feel the power of really hitting somebody. <laughs> sex is... Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Hey, just being honest, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. How are we growing over here? The, mi the miners, the miners, the whole mentality. I mean, you had you had a beef. If you had, you were man enough, you said, come to the bridge after work. Oh, wow. Not go to the roads, not shoot somebody or whatever, or go to the bar. After the bar, come to the bridge. Come to the bridge. To work it out like men. Yes. And Hayden's pretty much kind of a ghost town now, isn't it? Right, because all the all the people have lost. People who had money got the hell away. Yeah. I don't blame them. There's nothing. It's a ghost town. We come into ghost town. All this place, well, I don't, in 20 years, there'll be nothing. Yeah. There'll be nothing. Well, you go have a great rest of your day, and I appreciate talking with you. Yeah, so okay. much. I'll give you a knuckle bump. When I stopped recording the first time, Jesse told me that Winkleman was a town where the people served justice. I have no way to verify this, but he told me that many people were hanged from the Winkleman Bridge. If someone was found to be a child abuser, a pedophile, a wife beater, or something along those lines, they ended up hanged from the bridge for all to see. The people didn't wait for the courts to provide justice, they provided the justice, and it was swift and deadly.
All in all, I enjoyed my tour of Winkleman, Arizona. It's definitely a struggling town and will in no doubt become a ghost town just as Jesse said. Will it be 20 years as he predicts? Only time will tell. If you're in Arizona and you have the time, I'd encourage you to make the trek out to Winkleman, check out the Winkleman Bridge before it's gone along with the great people just like Jesse. Until next time, I'm the Small Town Tourist. Get off the freeways and go check out Small Town America.